Today we're going to be looking at case statements in the C programming language. Basically, this is going to allow you to create basically text menus uh, for your C program, giving options to the user and then outputting different output based on what they select. So let's start by creating our code. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor. And we're going to call it code.c. We're going to include our basic header, so include stdio, which I think stands for standard input-output header. Then we're going to start our main function here, squiggly bracket open, squiggly bracket closed. So now we're going to create a character variable. We're going to call it uh, fruit. Then we're going to print some information out to the screen. We're going to say print f which one is your fave or it I can't spell very well. <laughs> Let's fix that. Uh, there we go. Favorite fruit. And then we'll say new line. Close that. So, so far, we're just printing out to the screen what is your favorite fruit. Now we're going to give them some options. Print F. We'll say A bracket. And that's not closing that bracket because it's going to be inside these quotations. We're just displaying a bracket in our line. We'll say apples new line, close the brackets, semicolon, we're going to give them some more options, print F, B will be bananas, print another line, this one will be C, Cherries, new line, close brackets, semicolon. And now we're going to use something called scan f. And this will be getting the user input. It's a little bit in the past I've used f gets, which uh, is part of the strings header. Uh, we, we don't need that in this case because that'll just grab whatever they type in. This, if it's there's no spaces and it's a very small, simple little input we're trying to get. This is ba uh, built into our standard input output header. So we're going to scan F and then we're going to say percentage C here, comma, the end symbol and fruit, which is the variable we created up here. So we're getting the value of what the user types and setting it to fruit and then we're going to use switch fruit. So that's our switch for our, our case statement and now we're gonna say okay grabs that what do we do if they pressed A? So case a, so if the user chooses A, we're going to print F, you like apples, whoops, apples, backslash N for new line, and then we're going to type break, that jumps you out of the loop here. So to make things a little bit faster, I'm just going to copy and paste that. But we're going to change this case B. If the user chooses B, we're going to print you like bananas. And we're going to say case uh, C. So if the user types C, you like cherries. 
and then we will say default. So if they pick something else that isn't an option, we're going to say print f. You entered an invalid choice backslash n for new line. And then we will close that squiggly bracket for that little loop there. And we will end our main function with return zero. If everything was typed right, we can save that. G plus plus code dot C dash O for output and we'll call it code. So we're gonna compile it, no errors, that's great. We're gonna say code. Which is your favorite fruit? I'm gonna press B for bananas. You like bananas and then it exited out of the program. We can run it again. I'll say C this time and it says you like cherries. And then all this time I'll choose A, you like apples. And if I type blah, 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 it says you entered an invalid choice. So let's look at the code one more time before we are done here. Include our standard input output header, main function, create a variable, display our menu to the screen, and then scan F to get the user's input. It's going to be a character and we're gonna set fruit, which is the variable, character variable we created up here, equal to whatever the user inputs. So if they press A, fruit now equals A. If they press B, fruit now equals B. If they put blah, 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 fruit now equals blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna say switch fruit. So we're looking at fruit and case A. So if they type A, print this, and then exit out of the loop. Case B, case C, same thing, default, if they did, if they pick something that was not in any of these cases, then do this, and then we return zero to be proper about it. That is the code. That is a quick look at case statements in the C programming language. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.